front end engineers you're gonna love this uh, so someone named Sri Ram have found an exploit in Google Doc that allows you to take screenshots of that document that's beautiful private document that you have and send it to someone malicious so let's discuss how did he do that and he used this feature that is available in all Google product I've seen if you use YouTube you might have seen this the send feedback uh, option which is basically you click you have an option to send feedback and to Google about a problem in your Google document and your search and your YouTube and your any Google product and it takes a screenshot of your current view so Google can actually debug what's going on right so Sriram what he did is like he exploited the framing aspects of this right and uh, because there is a parent document there's another parent document there's frames all the way down and he managed to get access to that by exploiting the messaging between the frames and it's very very interesting and it is using a function that i never heard about before it's called post message so let's read about window.postmessage before we learn about the exploit what does it do and then go and jump show an example of how these things work so the window the post message method safely enable cross origin communication between window objects between a page and a pop-up that is spawned or between a page and an iframe embedded within it right so if you uh, have a page you just loaded a page for say google.com right and then that page has another iframe in it that spins abc.com right uh, google.com as a parent or the parent.com can access and send messages to the abc.com and vice versa right and how does it do how does this do done by having a reference as long as you have a reference to the iframe or to the pop-up that you spun off you can do dot post message to send a message to that target window okay that's very very interesting and you might say how does the target window actually receive that message well there is an event called message event the message event when you listen to that event on your target window you will get a function called and then you can get the message you can get the url you can get all the beautiful stuff that's the architecture behind post message there is this this is the exploit that sriram used in google doc uh, in order to allow him to do this in first first place let's explain what this means target window is you're in the source window you're in the parent window and you're calling target window the post message right this is the message you want to send and here's the thing there is another option called target origin that target origin means i only want you to post that message if and only if the target window is of this origin if i am sending a message and this is the, the target origin doesn't match the target window that's currently there please don't send that message and here's what the bug the bug was because google wanted this send feedback component to be portable to all their platform what they did is hey you can you can essentially they want the send frame to to work in google.com they want it to work on yeah youtube.com they want it to work on google doc they wanted to do google draw they wanted to work on every in single domain that they own so they say okay what's the best solution let's add a star and because they in the feedback window they said okay you right as a feedback window you can send that message to any target origin because we own many origins we can't just think about all possible origins and that is the bug right a second example so here's a private beautiful document i'm loaded directly to that document and if you go to help you click help sheets improve i think they changed that it used to be called uh, send feedback you click on that a new iframe pops up and this is the screenshot that gets loaded and this is apparently is getting loaded and there's think about this is the parent iframe and this is the child iframe and what the send feedback does is it tries to send this screenshot back to the parent in order to communicate this information for some reason right so if i open this that's the image if i open this url see that is the actual url and that's what sriram actually managed to capture and if if i do this i open this in open cognito mode 
it loads fine. Why? Because the actual image is base64. There's no cookies whatsoever. So anyone, literally anyone without any cookie can see this screenshot. Very, very dangerous stuff, right? Because it was looks like it was rendered at the client side, right? All right, so now we know the vulnerability. We know what was stolen. How did he actually do that, right? Let's, uh, let's read, I'm gonna read some, some part of the th stuff that is interesting here, right? And uh, here's, he's referencing all the work, all the documentation, which is very, very good. I'm gonna reference the article below if you're interested in that. And uh, here's, the here's the first thing that he did. As I watched the video, I learned new trick that I didn't know before. I like a, when people admit that they didn't know before and then something they just learned. This is, this is how we engineers evolve. That, that is, if you, you can change the location of an iframe which is present in a cross-origin domain. So, they, he managed to change the location of a parent frame to his evil website. But, look at this. It only allowed when X frame header is missing, right? If you do not have the X frame header on that parent website, right, you can change the location. And that's exactly what he did. He changed that location, right? Why? Because Google did not have that header and that allowed him to change that location. And we're going to see the source code. So that's the first thing he did. First, he tried multiple things and multiple frames and it didn't work because that particular message had a specific origin. So he went all the way up, right? the frame and say okay let me change the google.com the actual origin google.com he managed to essentially get back the message why because window reference the window reference in the feedback message that post the data like this star that means asterisk it means hey anybody can receive this beautiful screenshot and he's this is exactly what he did and obviously uh this is this is the video showing the showing the actual video this is the code, he's showing us our, his code. So he has essentially, first of all, an iframe, right? Loading the do Google document that he wants to see, and then with a script to wait for the document to load, right? And that document will load fine, and the browser will actually send the cookies, so you will be essentially authenticated within that iframe, despite the parent one is evil, right? And in, the, in that script, once that loads, he will go and change the location of the child send frame immediately to the exploited location. And what does this contain? That contains the event listener that we just talked about right here. It contains a listener event that listened to messages sent to it, right? And because Google didn't have any target domain specified, anybody can receive this including his exploit and when he did receive the message which is the actual image all of a sudden he got he got his function called and when he got his function called he got this beautiful url and everything was done let's watch his video so here's the thing he's so let's suppose here a little bit so he's loading this is his website right here when free candies for feedback on google <laughs> look at that sneaky and he sends feedback. This is a change as we as we discussed. We click on that guy, right? The frame, the feedback is popped, right? The client side apparently is rendering the image from this. Apparently, it's taking the pixels or something. That's why it's taking so much time. Give me candy, please. Give me candy. And then here's the thing. Once you send, look at that. The moment he sent that, he managed to capture the URL by sending the the location, the 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 image, right? And he would, what he did is opening a new tab and then view the actual screenshot. You might say, Hussein, why did it, uh, the limitation here is like, do I have to click on, uh, on actually, actually click on this to get, uh, to get the screenshot? That, that's so far-fetched, right? Can you actually add, add a script that forces this to click? <laughs> Apparently you can't. Google disabled all the click jacking that you can do. You cannot just do a window.click or, or find the whatever this thing is, right? And, and the element and try to click it. That, you cannot do that. Google is smart enough to disable you from doing all of that fancy stuff, right? 
are probably when they they only reload this one actually when you click on that they reload these elements right so all tricky stuff learning a lot of lessons thank you uh, for sriram for this nice document i'm gonna reference it below guys uh i'm gonna see you in the next one very quick video today and uh, very interesting what do you think about this let me know in the comment section below i'm gonna see you in the next one you guys stay awesome bye, -bye.